When we think back millions of years, we picture dinosaurs walking the earth, flying overhead and swimming in our oceans. But what we don't typically think about are the other animals that were living alongside them, the animals that coexisted with said dinosaurs. I bet a lot of us never even thought of the concept of there being other animals besides dinosaurs walking the planet in the times of the dinosaurs. Well, there were. And here they are. These are animals that walk with dinosaurs. Number 13, green sea turtles. This big guy is also known as the green turtle, the Pacific green turtle, or the black turtle, and is generally found in tropical and subtropical locations around the world. The earliest little water turts are believed to have appeared in the Jurassic period, and it's thought that they survived mass extinction because of adaptive survival techniques they've developed that allowed them to get through hard times. And they just inherently know that everything's gonna be all right. They also know to hibernate when it's too cold though, and they dig themselves down into mud holes, which is called estivating when it gets too hot or dry. It's these instincts that researchers believe may have helped these turtles survive and thrive when others fell, including the dinosaurs. Number 12, bees. It's believed that bees first entered stage left way back during the Cretaceous period, which would have been around the same time that flowering plants began to show up on Earth as well. So if bees were around back then, how did they survive the KT extinction event you may ask? Well that's actually sort of unknown considering there is a poor fossil record of bees, but it's thought that they actually did undergo a mass extinction at the time. How many survived, or whether they all died and somehow just made a freak reappearance is unknown. But it is a common thought that bees were buzzing around living their little bee lives way back when, when the SARS were still a major life force on our planet. And that's the bee's knees. Number 11, Pterosaur. This whole time I thought that pterodactyls were dinosaurs, and it turns out I was wrong. Pterosaur literally means winged lizard, and if I knew Greek, I'd have known that, but I don't. These crazy creatures are the first known vertebrates known to have ever evolved the ability of powered flight. They came in all shapes and sizes with some being tiny, anurognathids, and others being the largest known flying creatures ever, such as the Quetzalcoatlus and Hatsikopteryx. The general public and popular media commonly refer to these ancient animals as flying dinosaurs, but that's not the real way of the world, Jack. Pterosaurs are pretty closely related to birds and are more so than any other living reptile, but they also did walk. I mean, fly over the earth while dinosaurs were still doing their dinosaur things on it. Number 10, Nothosaurus. This guy here was a Sauropterygian reptile that was around 240 to 210 million years ago in the Triassic period. They are compared to the seals of today, seeing as they lived similar lifestyles and were altogether similar, except for the fact that these dudes were a little bit bigger, between 12 and 23 feet long depending on the species. These creatures were excellent swimmers and used their webbed, fin-like feet, tails, and legs to steer and propel themselves aground in the water. Propel themselves around in the water. They had needle-like teeth and usually preyed on smaller fish for sustenance. There's a complete skeleton of a species called Nothosaurus rabi on display in Berlin at the Natural History Museum if you want to get up close and personal with a crazy creature that shared the same watering holes and food sources with some of the world's most legendary sores. Number 9, Tuatara. Check out these little dudes. This little dinozilla is endemic to New Zealand, and their name is drawn from the Maori language and means peaks on the back. The Tuatara is the only surviving member of its order, Rhynchocephalia. Said order flourished around 200 million years ago, so these baby lizards have direct ties to animals that were around back when dinosaurs were still walking around the earth. The Tuatara is typically found to be brown and gray, and at lengths of about 31 inches from head to tail. They're also some of the longest living vertebrates out there, with some living to be between 100 and 200 years old. These critters are durable and can claim some pretty intense family history. How many of us can say that our great 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 grandmother lived her life alongside the dinos? None of us, but the Tuatara can. Respect. Number 8, Plesiosaur. This big old water dino lived in the early Jurassic period. They had itty bitty heads, a super long, super slender neck, four big old paddles, and a broad body. Plesiosaurs were first discovered in December of 1823 by Mary Anning, an early fossil hunter and paleontologist. They swam around the Earth's oceans eating fish, belemnites, a cephalopod that existed a long, long time ago, and various other prey. Obviously, it swam using its big paddle-like appendages, and it's believed that their long necks would have, or at least could have, been used as a rudder during a chase. These things look so much like dinosaurs, how are they not? 
They're terrifying, and I would have never gone in the oceans if I knew that this is what awaited me. The world used to be a crazy place. Number seven, horseshoe crabs. Did you know that horseshoe crabs are incredibly durable and have actually survived four major extinction events throughout history? Well, they have, and they're considered one of nature's most enduring organisms. They can eat almost anything that they want to, which obviously had to help considerably. And they have unique blue blood that coagulates when they come into contact with a bacteria, so they are very good at fighting off infection. There are even hopes of using horseshoe crab blood to help fight cancer and fungal infections. These crazy crabs are pretty much invincible, and I guess it's no surprise that they were around when dinosaurs were still here. Number 6. Mosasaurus These were once giant aquatic lizards that roamed our Earth between 70 and 66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. The Mosasaurus was one of the last Mosasaurs, of which there are 38 groups, of which there are 38 different genera, and it was the largest. They had big old front flippers that were slightly bigger than their back flippers, robust jaws, barrel-shaped bodies, and giant conical teeth. They're very crocodilian in appearance, and when first discovered, it was thought to be just another run-of-the-mill crocodile. It's not though, and thank gosh, because who would want to deal with a 56-foot crocodile? <laughs> not me. Number 5. Tanistrophius Whoa, this animal had quite the neck. Tanistrophius was a huge reptile. It was 20 feet long that lived in the Middle Triassic period. It's easily recognized by its freakishly long neck, which outmeasures its tail and body combined at 10 feet in length. This super long neck was made up of 12 to 13 hyper elongated cervical vertebrae. It's thought that the animal had very limited lateral movement of its neck, and it's believed that it must have been aquatic, or at least semi-aquatic, and possibly used its long neck like some sort of fishing pole. Some think that the animal may have stood on the shore and snatched various marine life from the shallows. That sure would be an exciting sight to come upon in person. Number 4. Megazostrodon This here little cutie is considered to be one of the first mammals that ever walked the planet, way back, around 200 million years ago. They were small, between 3.9 and 4.7 inches in length, and it's believed that they ate small lizards and all sorts of insects. They were nocturnal and this was thought to have to do with its survival where at night they wouldn't have to had worry as much about falling prey to dinosaurs, and they wouldn't have had to compete for food with some of the reptiles. It was first discovered in southern Africa in 1966 by Ion Rudner, and its name means Rudner's large girdle tooth. In Greek, literally. These little buggers would have been no match for dinosaurs, and it's no wonder that they only came out at night. I would have had to if I'd lived back then. Who wants to be made into a meal? Not this guy. Number 3. Cockroaches. Yuck. Did you know that the fools who inhabited and infested Joe's apartment were around back even before the dinosaurs even made an appearance on our planet? Cockroaches were some of the more dominant species 360 million years ago in the Carboniferous period. Did you know, I bet you don't want to now, that they used to be roughly twice the size as they were now? Can you imagine? These things are already big. Who would have ever designed them to be even bigger? Ugh. Anyway, they have made it through many events that killed off most other animals on our planet, including the Great Dying between the Triassic and the Permian periods and the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. They're tough little buggers, and they're inevitably going to survive far longer than us. Who knows? They may never die. I mean, they've already been here longer than, like, anything. So who's the real pest here? Apparently it's us. Number 2. Tylosaurus this here giant BC boy was a giant marine lizard called a mosasaur that is actually closely related to today's snakes and lizards. Even though their name seems to suggest that they were dinosaurs, they weren't. But they did live on the earth at the same time as them and probably attended some of the same parties. The Tylosaurus was around in the late Cretaceous period and was found in the western interior seaway where it was a dominant predator. They could reach between 40 and 46 feet depending on the specific species, and their most distinguishing characteristics was their long cylindrical snout, which is thought to have been used as a weapon or a battering ram against prey to fend off predators. These scary creatures looked like they would have ruled the oceans, and I'm sure they could have taken a dinosaur in a fight. Just look at it. Number 1. Sharks Yes, THE sharks, like the ones found in our oceans today that everyone is so scared of when they go into the beach for surfing. Sharks have actually been around for roughly 450 million years and have lived through four out of five major extinction events. Recently, a shark called an Atlantic six-gill shark was discovered whose ancestors range back 250 million years. 
That's 20 million years before dinosaurs even set foot on our planet, according to what we know as of now. The find is spectacular because scientists now know that there are two unique species of six gills, the ones found in the Indian and the Pacific Oceans, and the Atlantic six gill. It took decades to find, but they've done it, and it helps to shed light on shark diversity on planet Earth. Sharks look like dinosaurs, though, so we should have known that, right? Pretty incredible, isn't it? Who would have thought that there were all these different species of animals living alongside some of the most legendary creatures to have ever walked our planet? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. See you guys next time. Bye, better.